What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my domination classes for competitive. Um, they needed to be updated, so I thought I'd go ahead and bring them to you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, getting into it, my first class is my regular AR class. I've got the Remington with the Space Cat camo, the Blue Dot, and Muzzle Brake. That's going to be fairly standard. I'm going to have Muzzle Brake on most of my weapons, and it's usually going to be the Remington. Um, I will switch the site, though, to a Thermal on a couple classes, but... Uh, going into lethal, I've got a nade, and then tactical, I've got a stun, and then I've got quick draw, dead silence, focus, and fully loaded, and then for the strike package, I've got blast shield and attack resist. I'm not going to go into the bonus, because the bonus is personal preference, do what you want with it. This class is just kind of my balanced out class, it's one that I can just kind of fall back on, it's a very standard class, so it usually works pretty well. Um, one thing to note is a lot of you may be thinking, well the ARs usually get in a lot of long range gun battles is in domination sometimes um, if you don't feel as comfortable with holding your shot without grip feel free to put that on but for me personally if it's if I'm gonna be on a very long range map like octane I'm just gonna pull out a thermal anyway with the grip on it so that's my preference but it's up to you guys next class is my trophy AR class uh, same setup but with tactical I've got trophy system and then for perks I got quick draw dead silence focus the extra tactical and fully loaded and then strike package I got blast shield and tack resist this is one where I would use if I'm gonna be getting set up in spawn traps because people are gonna know where I am and they are gonna start throwing nades and such over in my general area so I wanna make sure I have trophy systems for that that's the reason for it next class is my quick AR class um, I've got you know the normal setup and then agility quick draw dead silence focus fully loaded strike package is blast shield and ICU and this class is good for trying to th th this is the class I like to use off the start or if I need to rotate very quickly because as an AR you know you can get slowed down quite a bit so it's just kind of a quicker moving class one where I'm gonna be moving around a lot instead of trying to stay in one place on a spawn trap or a, a major choke point that sort of thing Next one is my main thermal AR class. Um, I got the thermal with grip and then a nade, and then ready up, quick draw, dead silence, focus, and fully loaded. Uh, the ready up is actually pretty nice on this. Um, you know, you can get rid of it and put a stun if you want, but I, I just kind of like it on this class. And then I got blast shield and tack resist. This is one that I tend to use on. Um, freight domination it's just one that i like because i it has a nade on it and it's got thermal i can get in the long range gunfights and i can you know there's a lot of nading spots on freight so it works out pretty well for me that's the map i typically use it on um i'll usually be sitting around red train or top red or red alley somewhere around there with it to look over the main parts of the map next one is my stuns ar uh, normal setup of blue dot and muzzle break only i've got double stuns i've got the quick draw dead silence focus extra tactical and fully loaded and i actually haven't explained fully loaded yet um i need to go ahead and do that for you guys as an ar player you need fully loaded because your job is to stay alive and slay out and you will run out of ammo very very quickly in respawn game type so make sure you're putting fully loaded it's one of those must-haves on these classes and that's why a lot of them don't have the agility perk on them uh, this class here is one that I like to also use off the start because I can slow the opponents down and if they're going to be rushing I can throw some stuns out, slow them down, mess them up and then my submachine gun players can go out and you know get the easy picks. It's also one f to use when we are um, hopping on flags to try and stun them back in their base or whatnot, that sort of thing. And then the strike package is blast shield and ICU. Next class is my smoke AR. This one is another thermal with grip only it's got double smokes I got the quick draw dead silence focus extra tactical and fully loaded with the strike package as blast shield and tack resist this is one that is um, good for trying to get on the B flag or a hotly contested flag whatever it is whatever map it's one that I can then you know throw some smokes down or even try and mislead a flank like if I if, let's say it's freight domination and you know I can either throw it on B or I can throw it at a choke point and try and look down it and see if anybody rushes or I could even since I've got two smokes try and you know put two smokes over by the green train and whatnot and make them think that we're trying to push that side and get around behind and go to the flag when in reality we're waiting back a few seconds for them to rotate back and then push B something like that uh, that's what I typically use this class for mainly just to try and draw people out next one is my resist AR this is for when they've got a lot of nades or stuns um, I've got 
you know, the normal setup with Quick Draw, Dead Silence, Focus, Blast Shield this time, and Fully Loaded, and then the Strike Package as Attack Resist and ICU. This is the one that, of course, is used for all the nades and stuns. It's, um, you know, nades and stuns do almost nothing when you have those resist perks on, so this is a very, very good one if you're just not able to get trophy systems down in time or you're just constantly getting stunned, something like that. Uh, that's what this class is for. And then my three submachine gun classes, getting into them, and they don't I don't use them very much, but this first one is my vector class. I've got the blue dot and grip, just because I the kick on this gun, I don't know, I just really don't like it. I, I feel like I need the grip on it. I've got a Simtex grenade and a smoke, and then I've got um, marathon, quick draw, dead silence, and focus, and then blast shield and tack resist for the strike package. Uh, this is just kind of a standard vector class, just kind of one to try and break a flag, because um, I've got that you know easy nade access and the smoke. It's um, it's a more of a kind of a rushing one, but not really all the way. Um, just very good for breaking small uh, close quarters flags like the B flag on uh, strike zone, so that sort of thing. Next one is my rushing submachine gun class. It's the MTAR with muzzle breaking grip, and then I got ready up. Uh, marathon, Steady Aim, Dead Silence, Focus, and Tack Resist, and then for my Strike Package, I've got Blast Shield and ICU. Um, of course, this one doesn't have agility right away, but this is one that I want to use right off the start to get where I want to go because of the Tack Resist, because stuns come out a lot in the beginning of the match. That's why I have it here. It's just to get from one place to the other really, really quickly. That's what this class is for. And then my next one is one that you'll see me use quite a bit on Strike Zone Domination because we sometimes run four subs. It's my um, trophy sub, and I've got the MTAR with grip and muzzle brake, and then I've got a nade and a trophy system, and then ready up, marathon, steady aim, dead silence, and focus. And then for the strike package, I've got blast shield, and then ICU. This is one that... I don't know. I it, It's the one I like to use when I'm trying to be kind of a submachine gun slayer. Um, you know, it's good for setting up in courtyard on strike zone. I can put a trophy down, throw a nade over at the bridge or um, into into pro shop, something like that. That's what I typically use this class for. It's also good for you know just throwing a trophy system down on a flag and start capping capping it. Sorry, I'm stumbling on my words a little bit here, but um, yeah, those are my classes for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.